if you're like me and you find redstone a little bit scary, then this might be the video for you because I have 10 ways to hide your Minecraft house without any redstone whatsoever. Okay, maybe some of them have like two bits of redstone, but even I can manage that, so I'm pretty sure you can too. Okay, so let's get started. The first one, and perfect timing, it's about to be sunset, actually involves a bed. Now this is a really strange one, and if you don't know about it, you may be scratching your head. So all you need is a bed, and of course you need it to be nighttime, which is kind of the only downside to this hidden house. But basically, you get into the bed, and then when you leave the bed, you end up in your hidden base. Isn't that awesome? Now, the chances of someone sleeping in your bed in Minecraft, well, it's not out of this world unreasonable, but it's not likely to happen, especially if you hide your Minecraft bed it somewhere like this in a dummy base, which is just meant to distract. So I've got exactly the same thing here, a bed, and this one doesn't actually have a base behind it. This one <laughs> has an infinity room. So if someone does decide to sleep in your bed, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird for them. Obviously, it only works at nighttime, which is the major flaw. But when you have a bed and you sleep in it in Minecraft, when you leave the bed, you always end up at this block here. Now, that is always west. And depending on where we set our bed, so you can see consistently where you end up when you sleep in the bed. It's always west, meaning as long as you place your bed in a specific way, and that means doing this, you will end up exactly here, even though there's a wall here. You see? So we can use this to teleport through walls to create a hidden base. So the obvious problem with that one was you could only go there at night, but this hidden house, and yeah, you can't see it. It's actually here, it's right in front of you, but you can't see it. You can enter this at any time. You just have to remember where you put it. So I believe I put it just about here. Nope, I didn't put it there. I must have put it here. Okay, I've lost my bet. I've lost my hidden base. I've hidden, I've hidden my base from my, there we go, I found it, okay, right. So, as you can see, there is some scaffolding underneath some snow blocks. Now, basically, you can crouch straight through snow blocks if there is a scaffolding under. Meaning, as long as you remember where it is, and maybe you want to mark it very subtly with a bit of grass. So I know, grass here, straight down, into the base. And you just go down the scaffolding, and here you are. It's not the fastest way to get into the base, but it's very simple and effective. Of course, the limitation of this particular design is that you're stuck in the snowy biome, which not everyone wants to do. But fear not, we've got a few more hidden houses to go over. Now, this next hidden house is very interesting. Again, you can't see it. I'm still in the same biome, and it really doesn't matter what biome it is. All you need is one of those a small letterbox, and the key to this hidden base is a boat. Now, all you gotta do is you get in your boat. Now, you will take a small amount of suffocation damage, but that's okay. You know, hidden houses, you have to have sacrifices. And then you press shift, and you fall straight through into your base, which is so cool. Now, the big issue here is that the boat is still here. Hmm. Now, that is a slight issue. So this is where, yes, the house is hidden, and yes, you can just enter like so, but this is where a bit of redstone kind of makes sense. Now, to get rid of this boat, you have very few options, but Iskel actually helped me make a small device, and it looks super complicated. It's not that bad. So this is a little redstone device. With the press of a button, what happens is it releases a piston, it releases lava, and that gets rid of the boat, and then it closes itself back up. So it would look something like this. You put your boat in here, shift down, and then I've got a button in here, and you can hear it open up, lava goes out, there we go. So let's take a closer look at that redstone, even just in case you want to copy it, because like me, I need help. That's why Iskal did this. Thank you, Iskal. 
if you don't understand how this works, basically it works both with boats and with minecarts. All you got to do is take this between two layers of blocks. So when you're between the two, you press shift and because there's nowhere to go and there's space underneath, you clip through the block just enough to fall straight through. So let's just take a quick look at it. Boom, there's loads of redstone. Give you a good tour so that you can copy this if you so wish. And this is a dispenser with a lava bucket in. There we go. So that should give you all of the angles and information you need if you wanted to make this bit of redstone. See, this is why this is why I'm even making a video of hidden houses without redstone because seeing this is it's so complicated. I understand how it works, but I wouldn't have been able to come up with this on my own. So there we are. The actual hidden house is very simple. It's just a well, what is it? It's a it's a stone boat sandwich. That's what it is. Forget the redstone. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next hidden house. So the next hidden house is actually back here where we had the infinity room one. And the hidden house is actually right in front of us here. We need another key and it is a hoe of any kind, wooden or diamond, it's up to you. And all you gotta do is remember which block it is. You right click it and it will reveal the entrance. And then you can right click, exit through the minecart and out you pop. That will then eventually despawn and cover it back up, like so. Doesn't take too long normally. And then you're free to use your base as you please, jump around for a little while, realize there's nothing to do in this base because you finished it, and then you leave. But this time there actually is an exit that I've prepared, and it's right here. It's another minecart. Just like the bed situation, if you get into a minecart and you shift out, it will put you in a specific spot, meaning you can use that to glitch through the diagonals of a wall. So you use your hoe, you right click your way in, you shift out, and then you do the same thing again. Really, really easy and one of the fastest methods for a hidden house. Now the only bad thing is sometimes this thing can be a little bit annoying and doesn't go away. None of these hidden houses are absolutely perfect, but you will know which one suits you the most. Now, not every single hidden house needs a really insane glitch or gimmick like the bed thing or the minecart thing or even the boat thing. Some of them can just be really well hidden and one of those places you can do that quite easily is by hiding it underwater, particularly in places like this in a river where you've got lots of vegetation because the likelihood that people are going to be looking around here is pretty slim. But if you just hide a one block entrance behind some seagrass and you put it round a corner so that the light doesn't go through during the night time, you can make yourself a little tunnel into your secret base. Really simple, doesn't take any redstone. So not every single hidden base needs to be super complicated. Even things like this work really well. And I've got a couple more just like this one. For example, I've got here just a normal Minecraft village and I've got two hidden bases in here as well. The first one, okay, this is the one that uses a little bit of redstone, but hear me out, it's really simple stuff. So we've got the composter here and I actually got this idea from B-dubs at, uh, at his like hidden base in his Hermitcraft base. And basically you hop inside the composter you hit the button, you do need to retract a piston, and then you fall straight in, and then you're in your dirt-themed house because everyone loves a dirt house. The only thing is it's more like a dirt cage because I haven't been making a way out of these. But let's just take a look at the redstone because it's, it's really, really simple. So I've hidden this underneath a slightly decorated Minecraft-generated house, but if we take a look, all it is is one piston, one redstone torch and one redstone dust. Even I managed to put this together. So when you hit the button, it activates that, retracts it, and just retracts it quick enough that you fall through. Now, the caveat of this one is that this redstone is very simple, but it is very quick to retract that. So you do have to have a block here, here, and here for this to work, because if you don't, it can just push you out. Some, yeah, like that because it has somewhere to go. But if there's a block in every single direction, and that's why there were leaves here, then you don't have anywhere to go, so you fall straight through. So if you're having problems with this one, that's probably why. Now there's actually another hidden house 
right next door in this very non-suspicious crate. Now, I've shown you this crate design many times before. I really love it. It works well, especially as you can put water on top of trapdoors now. Now, all you got to do is you right click it and then you've got some scaffolding straight under into your base and you can even close it behind you so that no one knows where you are. So again, another hidden base, no redstone, very, very simple to do. Straight in, straight out. This one, okay, it definitely uses a little bit of redstone, but do you know how hard it is to hide bases without just a t tiny bit of redstone? And speaking of redstone, okay, right. So I did actually have nine designs, but with the 1.15 update, there was a new one. Okay, it involves a little bit of redstone, but you're really gonna love it. So let's hop over to a 1.15 world so I can show you how this works. Okay, so here we are in 1.15. As you can see, we got some of the new blocks, the honey, the honeycomb, and it's actually using this block here that's going to make things interesting. So if I turn the bounding boxes on, you can see hit boxes of stuff. What you can do on this one is actually throw it so that it overlaps, you can see that there. So this got me thinking that you could use this for an item detection system where you throw one in and it's hidden by a painting, it opens up and you fall down into the secret base. So how does this work? Now, obviously, you could normally do this by just hiding a painting and having a dropper behind it. But with, I think the thing with paintings is you either remove them by punching them off of a wall or you just try and walk through them. Now, you can't do that with this one because there's honey blocks there. What we're doing is we're throwing an item. It's going right in here just in to touch this hopper. And yeah, okay, this is one that actually involves redstone, as I told you earlier. So let's go behind and see what's going on. We're using a hopper detection system, and this is basically what's going on. It does It's not actually that complicated. I've probably done this the least efficient way possible because I don't know redstone. It's going to kind of help me again, but yeah, I understand what's going on here. So the item passes through, gives off a signal. That's the main thing. It then locks this in a timer for this amount of time using these redstone repeaters and then once it's finished the signal then goes through so let's just watch it happen fire it through it delays and then it goes and retracts again so we've got a very simple system all hidden for the use of honey blocks now to be honest with you you could actually not have a painting there at all because it's not obvious unless you're looking that there's anything there at all. So if you're able to make this just part of your decoration in your house, you could easily just have a hidden house way that way as well. Let's head back to my other world. The next one that I want to show you is also in this area. Look, the, the beds are just over there. And this is a naturally occurring lava pool. And I think I've shown this one before in a previous video, but lava doesn't actually hurt you as much as you think. You actually have enough time to pass through it. And to prove this, I'm going to go into survival mode, like so. And what I'm going to do is basically just jump straight in. I'm going to press crouch and boom. I took two hearts of health. Okay, I took a little bit more, but I have got some slime blocks here. And oh, that's where I put that thing. Yeah, you can put whatever you- I'm not- I'm not gonna judge you what you put in your hidden bases, so you shouldn't judge what I put in my hidden bases. Do you know what I mean? Don't judge. People can steal mustaches if they want to. The only issue with this is there's no real good way to get out other than an elytra. But if you have an elytra, you simply look up and you fly out. And then if you are taking a little bit of fire damage, you just make sure you're near some water. Plop yourself in and you're good to go. The other alternative to this is, of course, a fire resistance potion. And then you don't take any damage at all. So all I've done here is I've got lava and this is a naturally generated pool. So it looks completely organic. And underneath is a set of oak fence gates, all open, of course, otherwise you're going to hit it. And then a layer of water and then another layer of oak fence gates also open. And then you can pass through it like it's nothing. You immediately get extinguished and you make your way down. Or you could use a potion or you could even fall from a great height and you take even less damage because you've got the momentum. But of course, all of those hidden houses are honestly nothing compared to the original hidden house, which is simply take your shovel and mine two blocks of dirt 
and walk in to your original base. This is this is this is the OG one. This is the OG hidden base. And you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. So that is number 10. And I've got to say, it's just one of the easiest ones to do. And it's probably what I would do if I was just trying to hide my base. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know you might have seen some of these before. And indeed, I think I've shown one or two of these in the past. But for the most part, I've tried to keep this original. And I really spent ages trying to explore how you could hide a Minecraft base without any redstone. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.